Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Cryptark. Is my headset working? I think it is. Hope it is. Yeah, it's working. All right. Yeah, welcome back to more Cryptark, everyone. And thank you, crew, very much for your votes and where we're going. We have one vote for the duplex and two votes for the dreadnought. So dreadnought, it will be. My vote is, uh, will only count in case we have a tie. So we're going here. All right, then. So we have to... Well, well let's take a look at it first before we head on over there. So, oh, wow, this is like a mini crypt arc. We have quite a few systems on this. A single core system, a door lock system, an armoring system, two normal factories, one advanced factory, flak cannons, a repair system, a sentry system, and two shields. To gain all the extra money, we have to keep the flak controllers. That generally isn't so hard to do. We have to kill five juggernauts, so we know what type of enemy is going to be released in this system. It's going to be Juggernauts. The last video, we had to, we fought, I forget what they're called, but they released them in these threes. These uh, melee charge you drones are the advanced drone. And those things messed me up without a shield. Holy flipping crap. We have to kill five of them, so we'll try to remember to do that. We also need to destroy the advanced factory, so we have to do that after we kill the five Juggernauts. I think what I'll probably try to do here is destroy the repair system... Then destroy both the normal factories, and then make our way over to the advanced factory. Um, now, the bad part about this is that the advanced drones get released once every three minutes. So if we want to kill the juggernauts, that means that we're going to be over our goal time. Actually, with that in mind, maybe I don't care about that extra 50,000 bucks. Or is it one minute? Is it one minute or three minutes? I can't remember. We'll, we'll look at it when we get into, into the mission. But uh, this one will hopefully not be so bad. For enemies, we have no melee enemies in this, from what I can tell. We have flak systems. We have nuclear uh, missiles. We have the reflect all. We have the shielding gun turret. We have a gun turret that I think... I think that one's the one that shoots every few seconds. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not even doing this in order. I'm just doing it by what my eyes are light on. We have the type of drone that spits the acid. We have the type of drone that shields itself and fires one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or ten shots. We have the ones that fire the very large AoE as well. The slow-moving pulse. And I don't remember what that one thing is down there, the lower left-hand corner. That's not a Mr. Fix-It. Is that a crypt? That's not a crypt. I don't recognize that. I guess we'll find out when we get, in, get into the mission. So my objective for this will be to keep the armory systems. I think we can probably get that done with that. We'll keep the flak controllers and we'll try to destroy the advanced factories. The juggernauts you just won't do. Let's uh, get it done. The lower in number, the ship security drone complement is advanced and heavily armored. Alright, crew. Let's make you let's make you guys proud. Let's let's do it. So first off, this garbage shield is gone forever. Never again am I using this hostage shield. It is extremely short range. From what I can tell, you can't even grapple everything with it. I can only grab spike dogs. This is not similar to the tractor beam, which is an amazing uh, item, which I thought this might work somewhat similar to. No, this is simply not for me. I would much prefer the normal shield. I think that's what cost me the mission last time. Um, I don't think I need the smart machine gun. It could be handy, though, if I want to spend $51,000 on it. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm a fan of something that uh, fires quickly. I, I generally like having a single machine gun type with me during these... At least with, with, this, uh, with this type of... Uh, suit that we're using. So maybe we'll keep that. The Cancer Cannon is a slightly more powerful shotgun. We have the Trench Gun again, Tim. That's an amazing weapon to deal with, uh, to fire things at AoE for a spread. Hmm. 
The EMP shotgun is very nice as well. I've used that uh, in a different... Um... Crap! <laughs> I've used this before. Uh, it's damage over time. Uh, it's, it's nice. It's very nice. What else do we have, though? I don't think we'll need guided rockets. I don't think we need this either. The projector... Uh, flamethrower was decent. I actually like it. But I don't think I want to use it against these things. I kind of want to maintain my distance against these. I, would, I don't want them getting that close to me. Against all the enemies here. I think we'll go back to using something different. Uh, the canister cannon... I did really like the gas cannon. That is a nice... That is a nice weapon. The normal grenades are also very nice. They're... They're both decent. I think I like the canister cannon because I can be a little, um... I can be a little less precise with that weapon. Although I don't think it does as much damage overall as the grenade. I do like the imprecise nature of it. I think we'll take it. Oh, but you should take it as your F, Tim. Your middle mouse button generally regulated to uh, shotguns. You can take the machine gun and the cycle the cycle rifle. What else do we pick up? We picked up a buffer. Okay, that's useful to know. But that's really the only thing... Oh, no, we've used the buffer in the past as well, Tim, in this playlist. We picked up fixed tens! Oh, that's, that's, that's huge. We could, we'll grab one of these. That can heal all of our hit points. I think we'll grab two of those instead. I think that will do. And I think... I think we'll leave the allure... I wouldn't mind trying it out to see how, see what it's like, but I, I'm thinking more and more that I should try out new things on a different uh, account, as it were, one that won't impact our playlist. So we'll we'll leave the lore at home. This is really going to be expensive run, Tim. Coming in at two hundred thirty-one thousand, you're going to lose a little bit of money here. But I think this will. I think we can see this to completion with that, unless maybe I don't want the cycle rifle. Oh, it's just expensive for the shotgun, is it? Oh, it's a little cheaper for this. That would save us 10000 If I was to take less bullets for this... That's 200000 But I would... I'm going to end up totally needing an ammo refill if I take this. No, we will... Uh, we'll take more. Take a fix ten and a fix five, Tim. And instead of a key, you can even take a fix two. Let's go with this this lay this loadout. <laughs> we got a hit! A chip EMP weaponry! This gear will scramble those critters gun! Maybe this is a different weapon than the one I, I thought it was. I was pretty sure this damages things over time. It doesn't look like it's damaging these over time, though, but it looks like it de deactivates them slightly. I guess we'll, tr we'll, tr we'll try this out. I'm pretty sure I have used this before, though. And we have a way we can get right in right away. We can make it right in here. Oh, but there's the armoring system right next to us. And it's shielded! Perfect. I don't have to worry about that, then. Oh, this ship's gonna be annoying. Where's the repair system? That should be the first thing we get. We try to get to here. If I get a key, we can get in there and destroy that thing immediately, and then go and destroy this right afterwards. We can then come down here and destroy the sentry system, destroy the other factory, and then get a bunch of keys and such. Okay, let's do that. We'll take. We'll grab a. We'll grab a key. One more time. 
So we're gonna plot our way to get in here first. And there's no flak cannons that we'll have to worry about on the way to that. I want to destroy this first because that way I can begin destroying and permanently removing all the other things here in the ship. The drone factories first. With every drone factory I kill, we don't have to worry about that type of drone whatsoever any longer. Oh, let me look at the advanced factory really quick. Uh, what does it say? Spawn juggernauts are gargantuan hunter drone keen to hunt down and pacify any intruders. Wherever they hide. Next enemy 40. Oh, everyone, 41 seconds we get one. Okay. We can kill five juggernauts then. Maybe. I hope. Let's still start by going here destroying the repair system. Repair system. Drone factory. Let me come over here get the two tech. Destroy the sentry gun. Grab this. Come all the way down here. Actually, we don't even need the keys. There's like no locked doors on this ship. Oh, the locked doors are up here. But there's nothing even up here I would want. Except maybe one tech. Oh, well, Tim, you'll need to go through the ship unless you want to risk taking damage from flak cannons. Getting back in the ship on that side. Uh, there's no flak cannons on this side of the ship, though. We could simply leave, go outside. Uh, yeah, we could go outside and around and down this way to get to the core when we're finally ready to destroy it. All right, I'm done talking. Let's head over here first and destroy this, uh, this repair system. Wish us luck, everyone. Here we go. We don't even have to use the key. Repair. System neutralized. An ironclad. That's gonna be annoying. But we have to destroy it. System down, and we've already destroyed that one. Uh, oh, hello, Tim. Key code recovered. Uh, I'll probably want well, at least one more key. Let's grab this key. Let's key quick. code recovered. Uh, we'll grab one more key, and that will probably do it for us. Key code recovered. Okay, next. Uh, let's come down here and destroy the sentry system. That'll make it easier for us to get through the rest of the ship. Love the music in this game. It is amazing. Wow, that EMT is recovered. very nice. It's not the quick weapon I've used in the past, but I love that it shuts down everything. It doesn't shut down the, the, the big uh, defensive turret. Oh, here. That is amazing. It can shut down juggernauts as well. Right, let's get this sentry turret destroyed. Data recovered. One more should do it. Sentry control system neutralized. Next, let's clear this little area out. I want to free up this uh, this health in case we absolutely need it later on. Oh god, Tim. Oh, 
Oh, it's a Mr. Fixit. That's what that thing is. Let's just put Mr. Fixit. Okay, let's grab the tech while we're here. Data recovered. We can leave the other things there. We shouldn't need those keys. Let's get down here and destroy this factory now. And we have another drone on the way. this juggernaut. Oh god, that hit me. Um, repair. How much time do we have left? It doesn't say on this screen. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. Do I care about the... Uh, how much longer till the next one's out? 18 seconds. That'll be three. How much ammo do I have left on my weapons? 1,400. Let's come down here and grab these techs. Uh, juggernaut. Oh, that's right. It puts it somewhere randomly in in the ship. Here it comes. Thirty seconds till another one is released. It's on the way. This will be the third one that we will have this. We can destroy this one and then destroy the, la the last one that comes out. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Cool. Oh, that's interesting. So its shield blocks all damage completely. That's going to be real. This is really annoying to fight these things here in them. Uh, you might have a serious problem right now. We could probably just sail around them. Let's let's kill this uh this big guy. Okay, now we just have to wait for the last of these giant drones to come out of this factory. 17 seconds until one does. Uh, we can damage the factory a bit, I suppose, while we wait.
Okay, this is our juggernaut. All repaired. System neutralized. Okay, that does it. That's the only stuff we had to do. We can now, I guess we can sail all around the outside and come in here. All the drones are destroyed, the repair systems are destroyed, the sentry systems are destroyed, and we should be able to still do this under time. We'll be close, though. We have a full repair left as well. Ooh, careful, Tim. You want to be avoiding the flak. They call it flak cannons, but that's not what they are. They, uh, they're more, it's more like a homing system. Uh, anti-aircraft guns would be more appropriate for what they actually are, right? Flak is like an AOE, which you fly through and the flak field damages you. Like a piece of shrapnel and scrap. These things are just, uh, heat-sinking, uh, plasma bolts or something of the sort. Or th torpedoes. Data recovered. Okay, the only question is, do I want this last tech? I don't think I care. I don't think I care. We just go right down here, and we... Oh, Tim, there's a shield system! Still protecting it. Crap. I completely forgot. Then we have to leave. How many keys do I have left? None. So we can't... We can go through here and grab a key after we get past the ironclad. Oh, it's not ironclad. Oh, it is ironclad. Okay. Key code recovered. Excuse me, won't you? We're right near the tech. We'll grab it. Data recovered. Have a key. A shame. We're not going to be under time now. Oh, Tim, you're out of keys again. You're not getting this. There's no way for you to get to that. You got no choice but to leave and go back around. Can't go that way. We have no keys. Or is that is that correct? Yeah, no keys. Oh, you're supposed to fix it. I don't care about you. Key code recovered. But now we don't even need to spend it. We might as well just stay inside. Actually, uh, it will be faster for me to go through. Uh, if we go outside, just barely. Key code recovered. Go, Tim, go, go, go. You're about at a time. Key code recovered. Shield generator system neutralized. Enough. 
come up this way. Ignore the ironclads. And then... We're out of key, so you kind of... Wait, we're out of keys? We have no keys again! <laughs> How did I come in here last time? We must have come straight through there. That's it. We're past the clock. We're going to be losing money, I think, now for the time that we're over. Let's try to get into this as quickly as possible and end this. We should have the ammo to, to do this as well. Key code recovered. How annoying! Your aim must be getting shoddy, because our cleaner on the inside just sent us an alien beastie, fully intact. <laughs> A fossilized skeleton with extensive cybernetic augmentations. Well, skeleton might be giving it too much credit. This guy's not much more than a skull and spinal column with a murder machine wrapper. He's long dead, but his implants don't seem to know that. Creepy robotic bone puppet. Alright, we made $222,000 on that mission. Go us. The defensive networks out here are growing more complex. Even with all this hardware, we'll still need to apply precision force to crack open these hulks. Alright everyone, let's look and see what's next for us. So, we have a duplex. Let's look at the bonuses. Destroy all systems. Don't use repair kits. No supply pods. That's nightmarish for me. I won't be able to do both of those. Uh, I would definitely bring repair kits with me, at the very least. We have two cores, an alarm system, door system, one normal factory, one advanced factory, flat cannons, repair, sentry, and two shields. It's a slightly easier version of what we just did. Uh, we have flak, as, as for AIs. We have the robots that shield it and then do their one, two, three, four, five, uh, like uh, slow shots. We have the type of sentry gun that I think... Shoots out uh, bursts of random shots. Like, uh, they go everywhere. Some of them move fast, some of them move slow, some of them hover in place. I used to think that was the Mr. Fix-It, but now I know that is actually the... Uh, that must... No. Yeah, that, that must be the uh, acid type, I suppose. That's what that is. Spike dogs, sentry systems, and the guns which actually... Uh, sentry guns which shoot every so often, like every three seconds at us. So, not the most difficult thing for us. We could probably do most of these bonus objectives as well. I would want to destroy all systems on this vessel for a big whopping 156,000 if we decide to do it. We have a stockade. 
What's this one? Keep sensor jammers. No grenades, no shields. Not gonna do the no shields. Can do the no grenades. I can keep the sensor jammers, but it will be harder for us to complete this mission. A core, a door system, flak. I think that is a hazard system. Sentry systems, one repair, two sentries, and three shields. Wow. We could, yeah, this, we could do the artifact for this one as well. That wouldn't be so hard to do. There's no factories on this, so everything we destroy is permanently dead, with the exception of the systems themselves. As for the AI, we have the one type that starts in the walls and comes out and shoots the slow pulse bolt, which does decent damage. We have the buzzards, or the flies, which can send out that beam which knocks us around, but we have a buffer, which we can use to counter that. We have the things which lock us in place. We have to do the, the uh, up-down arrow puzzle to unlock ourselves. Flak, that is a special type of sentry gun over there. Uh, we have mines on this vessel. We have a sentry gun that shields itself, I think. Oh, no, uh, one of these is a sentry gun that shields itself. The other is the type that has the big uh, purple to track you and then fire at you. We have the type that shoots every few seconds. Wow, lots of sentry guns on this vessel. And spike dogs. And we also have the sentry gun which uh, releases the uh, bursts and the AoE of randomly moving, randomly stopped uh, blasts or small bolts. This is, this is quite doable. This is quite doable. And the artifact also, we can do that for the artifact. Max level 125, I'm not doing that. Destroy all systems, I could. Shields, I'm not doing that. So, extra 171 if we decide to destroy all systems on this vessel. Lots of things on this vessel. We have a core, an alarm system, a nuclear destruct, door system, one normal factory, one advanced factory, a fail-safe system, two hazard systems, that's a lot of mines, repair system, two shields, and a shuffle system. For enemies, we have the buzzards, or I, I keep calling them buzzards, buzzers, is what I mean to say. Uh, the flies that can knock us around, but we have a buffer. We have crypts on this. We have the type that can throw out the acid. That's what that is. That's the acid projector. Mines, buzzers, spike dogs, uh, sentry lines, and just hazards with the uh, the grinders. And I don't know what type of thing that is in the middle. I thought that used to be Mr. Fix-It between the spike dog and the sentry gun. I don't know what that represents then. So, this is doable. I mean, we can definitely do it just for the, the reward, flat out. Plus, I would want to destroy all systems. That's 171. Eight tech advances on that as well. And finally, we have a colony arc. Not doing the loadout max. Can do the no grenades. Can't guarantee the no alarms. For systems, core, sentry, shield, armoring, two normal factories, one advanced factory, a fail-safe system, flak, repair, sentry, and two shields. Not the most overwhelming. It'll be similar to the one we just got done doing. But roughly the same amount of gold time, too, in it. We have a lock in place. We have hornet, a uh, hornet nest, flak cannon. Uh, actually, it's a lock in place, flak cannon, hornet nest. Uh, a normal type of flyer that just shoots us every so often. A gun that shoots us every so often. Spike dogs, low-level enemies, with the exception of the the nests, the hornets, the hornet, uh, the hornet launchers. This one's pretty easy when it comes to enemies. Eight tech advances. So they're all within our grasp. These are all doable, though we won't be able to do all the bonus missions. Or let me rephrase: I can't do all the bonus missions for these uh, these these wrecks. Just most of them. And everyone, I will only vote after I see your votes to break a tie. I don't think it's going to matter otherwise. So thank you all for for watching, and I will see everyone in the next one. Take care, everyone.